This evening, we are joined by uh, Bill's son, Carl, and his wife, Gail. And Carl, I invite you to come, to, uh, come forward, please. I, uh, you know, kind of been thinking about this. I, I often get blamed for Star of Indiana because, uh, <laughs> and I, I marched with uh, Coldstrom and Bugue Corps out of Dubuque in '83 and '84. And after I finished the '83 season, sometime along in there, I was home from college, and Dad said to me, "You know, I, I'm thinking of starting a drum corps." And I remember thinking at the time, just by the way he said it, that uh, either it would be several years hence that he would do that, or he would lie down, take a nap, and that feeling would go away, and that would be the end of it. <laughs> and I had absolutely no idea that at exactly the moment that I was aging out in 1984, uh, he was already setting everything in motion to put Star together, you know, I, I was shocked. Every name on the staff I recognized. Um, and it, you know, he put all those people together and he was, he was very good at the most part of getting out of the way once he got the team together he wanted. And, you know, Star, in, in many respects, it was something of a, a flash in the pan. It, it competed for only nine seasons and yet, in those nine seasons, it was in the top 12 every year, and it won a championship. And I think the credit to that goes to the staffs and the, the people, the memberships that marched in those years, because um, they were the ones that did the hard work and, and figured out a way to happen, to make it happen. And I, I think you know, if, if Dad were here tonight, he, he would be saying a big thank you for making Star what it was because he, he really felt he only set it in motion. And as he said, I, I, I think kind of implied in what he was saying there a moment ago, the fun for him was watching what would happen after he started it. And, you know, further, I think the thing that he would be most proud of of, of what came out of those nine years is even today when you go through the, the staffs of the drum corps and a lot of the top high school marching bands in the country, it's just sprinkled all over the place with star alumni, people that both instructed and, and marched with the corps. And I think that would be the thing that he would be most proud of and, and grateful as being the outcome of, of star existing. And, my final thought is, is this. Dad was not one to particularly like events like this. Um, sitting down was not something he was good at. Banquets were not something he particularly enjoyed. Getting awards, for the most part, I think he found a little bit embarrassing, for the most part. But I think what would very much touch him, and which definitely touched our family, was the, the letters of support and nomination that came in from so many people and how heartfelt they were. And I think that was something that struck me after all these years, how much people thought of him, that would be what would touch him and that would be what would make this night special for him was just the feeling that so many people wanted to see him here in the Hall of Fame. And on behalf of our family, I want to say an enormous thank you to you all for getting him in the Hall of Fame tonight. Thank you.